If you're like most players and you're playing against someone of similar ability, oftentimes we struggle with the quick decisions we have to make and the choices on what type of a shot we're going to play. And I often find that club level players make the mistake of trying to force the ball down the line at the wrong time in the point and then end up making an error. And in most of my strategy lessons, I assume that both players are very similar in ability level. And that sort of equalizes the tactics because the tactics would always change if you're playing against someone who's either obviously significantly inferior or superior. So assuming that we're of similar ability, these guidelines are really going to help you perform well against that type of a player. And I've got a very, very simple rule. From the baseline, you're only going to get on the line when you know you can and not make a mistake and hurt your opponent by doing so. If you don't meet either of those two criteria, then it makes no sense to go down the line. Okay? So for example, in the rallies, if I, if I get pulled out wide to my forehand and I hit a neutral ball that does not hurt my opponent going down the line, it's very comfortable for my opponent to hit a cross-court backhand and make me run the width of the baseline to hit a bit of back, hit a backhand, which most of us probably don't really want to do. So what I want you to do is think of it simple, simple formula. I want you to play 75% on average of your ground strokes cross-court from the baseline or behind the baseline, and only 25% of them may be down the line. Again, the criteria is, can I make the shot? And is it going to hurt my opponent? And if either of those two criteria are not met, then I say go back cross court or down the middle with a deep penetrating ball, be patient, and look for that neutral ball that sits up that you can change the direction of the ball with. So specifically, if I'm in a rally and I can hit a cross court forehand that pulls my opponent into the alley, and then I receive their ball before they've recovered into the control area of the court, then it's a lot easier to play the ball down the line and not feel like I have to hit the line or get close to the line to be effective. It's also important that you receive a ball that you can change the direction of. So you have to redirect that ball in a, what I call a negative way. So if I receive a ball cross court from my opponent and I try to go down the line, that's a much trickier ball to time and redirect than a ball that I receive from down the line and go cross court. So you really have to be able to measure up your ball and make a good choice and know you can hurt your opponent with the shot. So when should you decisively go down the line is when you receive a ball that sits up, that's easy to redirect, and you're inside the baseline and you get up into this area of the court and you have options and choices and now you can be aggressive and play a ball to the backhand corner and assert yourself with that shot even if your opponent is in control of the court you have a ball that you can dictate with and that's of course what you're looking for in your singles play and in a similar fashion if i'm in a cross court rally with my opponent backhand to backhand and i just hit a neutral ball at the line that they can play then they're going to be able to dictate with that ball with their forehand and either I'm going to have to take off and cover the cross court which is the most comfortable shot that they can hit to really dictate or they can play the ball straight behind me. So if you're playing a backhand to your opponent's forehand you better be able to hurt them or they're going to be able to hurt you. So make sure that A you can make the shot and B you can hurt your opponent otherwise I would say be patient go for the deep penetrating shot cross court. So you might be wondering, does the same formula or guideline apply to approach shots? And yes, it does. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples. If you receive a ball that is below the level of the net when you're going to make contact and inside the service line, that's a tricky ball. And that really is an approach shot. That's more likely a ball that you're not going to be able to hit a winner off of, but it's a ball you're going to set up to control the net and, and make a volley winner or an overhead winner. So when the ball is below the level of the net and inside the service line, 75% of the time, I recommend you put the ball up in front of you and come forward, okay? Straight up the line or even up the middle, 75% of the time. But reserve that 25% of the time when you've already established a pattern of going up the line and then at a critical point later in the match, you can come up and you can go that way. So you know you can make the cross court, but in that case, you're probably setting it up so that it can be a winner. And that's how you want to play balls that are below the level of the net from a tactical shot selection perspective. Now the formula changes if the ball is above the level of the net because then you can be very aggressive and you don't have to play in any particular location as a percentage. I call it 50-50. So as soon as I come up to a ball that's sitting up and above the level of the net, I feel like I'm going to really dictate and this becomes more of a shot that I'm going to try to create a winner off of or a very weak reply, not really thinking it so much of as an approach shot. So when you get the ball that's above the level of the net and in the midcourt, this is a 50-50. If you sent your opponents a little bit off to the, to the left, you attack to the right. 
And if they are sense that they're a little bit off to the right, you just attack to the left. And that's a 50-50. So what I recommend you do there is get prepared early, hold your shot, sense where your opponent is, hold, 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 and then attack. And be decisive. If you're going to miss, miss going for the shot you want to play. Don't hesitate and miss because you're doubtful. And that's how you want to play the high contact from the middle of the court. So those are your tactical guidelines for playing singles against an opponent of similar ability. And the idea here is to simplify your thinking so that you can be decisive when you play and not miss because you hesitate or are uncertain about where to play your shots. So this should really help you set up your game plan. Now, there may be opponents or coaches out there that say, wow, you're, you're very predictable. But I think if you are controlling the court with these shots and you hit high quality shots against an opponent of similar ability, I don't think that's relevant. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from this lesson today. Please give us a like, leave some comments down below. If you'd like us to film a video for you on something you're interested in, please let us know and we'll do that. And we also invite you to our free courses, the guidelines in the, for our full library on the key skills you need to develop on every shot to reach your full potential in tennis. And all you need to do is click in the link in the information down below and get our free guide and our library of lessons that's available on our website. And while you're on our website, please take a look around. We have a membership course. We also have a, a, a worldwide acclaimed uh, serve course that's available, as well as some additional free lessons. So take a look, and we'll see you in the next video.